I'm see if I can set a wake up call for eight o'clock at noon five or seven. Thank wake you very call. much. You too, sir. <laughs> the wake up call. That was the wake up call. Eight o'clock for the morning. <laughs> yeah, we're going to the game tomorrow. Go to the game tomorrow. Been good. Been good. Tailgating. Get your head set for eight. We'll be out the door by nine. I'm sure that we can be done shopping by ten thirty or by nine thirty. We can be done with shopping by ten thirty. Um, get in line quarter to eleven. You're good to go. I'm trying to figure out what we're fixing to eat tomorrow. Yeah, I think the think we're gonna go with a lot of brats. Right. One handed food is better for tailgate. <laughs> no dishes food. Huh? No dishes no food. No dishes food. Man. Yeah. yeah, no food you have to sit there and cut up with a fork and knife. Or or salads. Salads. I'm thinking, man, you can just get some fucking chips and paper plates and brats and buns. Mm -hmm. You're good to go. You know, he ain't making no video of the game. Who, me? You, you have yeah. One. It's right there. We're making it right now. I'm getting ready to talk about the signing. You should have been there, man. Lord. <laughs> hey, man, we, when we got ready, and, you know, we told them 5 30, right? Uh huh. And we went over there at like 5 o'clock thinking they were going to be ready to go. And they ain't even started getting ready to go. Oh, wow. Because, I mean, it was me, Aylin, Joe, Sam Hur, uh, Chris Canty, and Kat. Just you sitting there, me, just I talking would, football. It was I, just... I wet myself and put him just crying. It was just... That was giving us everything, man. That was just talking about the game, talking about talking about New England, talking a little bit like a lot of stuff, man. It was... That was cool. It was cool. Bears. Canty, well, Canty is now forever my boy. I will never say anything bad about Canty in my in my life. He's all, I'm always gonna see his upside. <laughs> He's gonna be one of those guys to me forever. Forever. But who called Sam? Huh? You did. That's my boy. Yeah, I, I was seventeen. I told Sam that uh, that. Uh, that uh, Halen called him out first, you know, a long time ago. He did on his videos. Halen called out Sam. So, uh, that was straight cool. up, man. From that training camp, I knew, man. So, that boy, man, he's making the team. Yeah. And now he's just rolling. Straight up. Well, we, can, we can cut uh, the 1 7. We can cut that down to just audio and use some of it in the podcast. What? For the. What this? Yeah. From the yeah, we, day. we taping it now. <laughs> it's going up tonight. <laughs> you filming right now? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we got some good pictures with uh, good pictures with them boys. I didn't get any sound bites from. Them. Matter of fact, I'm on vacation. I must, buy, I must find another cerveza. <laughs> It's hard work being a cowboy fan, man. Y'all don't understand. So we're we're drinking more than we usually do, and and we couldn't decide, so we bought more bottles than we needed. And we're gonna do the same thing tomorrow. <laughs> when we beat the Vikings' ass. Did the game? I thought we had a script. What Chris Candy tell yeah. you? Huh? What Chris, Chris Candy said is gonna happen. He said we're gonna. Whoop. We, he said. We're gonna whoop those Vikings ass or something like that. He put it down. And the last time he did it last year, remember? Mm -hmm. He said uh, for the Colts said, game. For the Colts game, he looked at the camera. He said, "We're gonna uh, give the number one uh, team in the league their first loss, or the Colts their first loss." And they went out there and did it. That's right. That's why Chris Canty's my boy forever. You he will never hear me say anything negative about Chris Canty ever. My boy. That was an exclusive. Yeah, I... I'm fighting for Chris Canty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Canty's a shit, man. Straight up. Now, if Martin Spears would just do a little bit of fucking Canty Ooh. impression out there, we'd be set. <laughs> I got a scared of some of the training camp. Uh, uh, we were we were almost talking junk about Marcus Spears, but we wasn't really, not yet. But it was like coming on, and uh, I was going around the camera, and I was like, "Here's the Dallas Cowboys show," you know, giving pins away. And I gave it to this guy. He said, "Oh, 
So it's, it's a Cowboys video blog. And I was like, yeah. He said, oh, I'll check it out. I'm Marcus Spears' dad. And my mind just stopped and went back in my head. What about I said about Marcus Spears? <laughs> what about I said about <laughs> this ain't feeling go good. Uh, <laughs> this ain't feeling go good. Oh, man. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> Marcus Spears. Damn. Here's a, okay. I'm going to say this real quick. Yeah, put the bear down. <laughs> and Barry Switzer, man, because I've always kind of held, like, you know, like, Everyone, everyone has always said, "Hey, man, you one with Jimmy's players." Yeah. And then one time, I heard Barry say, "Yeah, I could have lost with Jimmy's players." Yeah. And I was like, "Damn, you're right about that, mm-hmm. man." So, yeah, we got you know Wade Phillips. It seems like the players are buying into him, man. Yeah. They're happier. Tio's happy. It just seems like it's just a positive vibe going on. But we've got Bill Parcells. Bill Parcells yeah. started the recipe. Yeah. But with Wade Phillips, I think it's just like we're cooking it up, man. Yep. Yeah. Straight up. 